Morning everyone. Today I'm going to make a birdhouse um, which will also serve as a bird feeder. What we need is a milk or juice bottle, an empty milk or juice bottle. We need two lids. some string, a pair of scissors, a permanent marker, a strip of wood, a puncher, a hole puncher, some paint and a paintbrush, a bit of glue and a strip of paper or cardboard and not forgetting the bird seed okay you can make your own with seeds and popcorn or you can buy it from the shops firstly we're going to start by painting our bird box i'm choosing a natural green color rather than an unnatural color but you can choose any color you want you can make yours pink or blue any color you wish okay side Okay, then we're going to wait for that to dry. In the meantime, we can cut a piece of string, however long you want it, depending on where you're going to be hanging your bird feeder. save that for later um, then we can cut a triangle out of cardboard or wood all right we'll put that down here and then we can draw our eyes Like this. Good. And another one. One, two. All right. And those are going to be his eyes. Let's, can you see? So when our paint has dried, we are going to stick our two eyes and our beak onto our bird feeding house. Um, in the meantime, we can, oh, I think we need to wait for that to dry. 
Right, when the paint has dried, we are going to make a little door in the front of our birdhouse. And we are going to cut along the same. Let's just make a hole. We have to pierce a hole with sharp scissors. There we go. And now we are going to cut like that to make a little wings. And we do the same on the other side. Can you see? So like that and like that. Okay, so those are the wings. Then we are going to get some glue. Right. And we are going to put a bit of glue on one patch on that side for one eye and another on that side where we're going to stick the other eye okay so one eye and let's just get some glue on on the lid as well Quite a bit of glue to make sure it sticks well. There we go. Okay, so one there and one there. All right, maybe what we need to do is let that dry a bit. In the meantime, we can get our punch. And we are going to punch a hole. It might be easier to pierce a hole if you prefer, if your punch is a bit big like mine. We're going to make a hole in here. Okay. Hold on, let's just maybe go from this side. Okay. Can we do it? Maybe what might be easier is if we actually just make a hole in the top. When we unscrew our lid, we get our string. We go through the hole that we've made. Okay. Oh. And then we are going to get the string from the other side. Let's just, hold on, let's just make that hole a bit bigger. Okay, string goes into the hole we've made. Okay, like that. And pull it, pull it, pull it all the way through. Okay. And then we're gonna put our hand into the lid. And we're going to grab hold of that string. Okay, like this. All right, and then we're going to tie a knot like that. Okay, and we're going to hang our bird feeder when we are ready, when it is finished, from a tree. Right, almost done. Our eyes are drying. Okay, we might need to just put a bit of green paint where the glue has come through. There we go. And lastly, we need his beak. Actually, that's not lastly. What we're going to do is with your triangle, you are going to fold a little piece like that. And we're going to put some glue like so, okay, on the flap. And then we are going to glue his beak just above the door. 
like that. All right. Next, you need to get your wooden stick and we're going to make it so that we have one little sharp piece at the bottom. And this, we can try and pierce just below our door. Okay, just below the door. And if you can't do that, we, what we're going to do is with a sharp knife is just make a little hole. Okay. And then we're going to put our piece of wood through the hole like that. All right, I think that should do it. Perfect. Okay. Let's have a look how we go in. Right. Cute. Well, this isn't dry yet, so his eyes are sliding down a bit. Right, then we're going to get our seeds. As I said, you can use poppy seeds, um, some popcorn, whichever birds you have in your garden. And we're going to put a mix into the bottom of your bird feeder. Okay. Oh, look, his eye keeps sliding down. All right. So basically, you get the idea. Let's just pop those eyes back on to dry again. So basically, you get the idea with the seeds. You're going to fill up your bird feeder with the seeds. And you can do that once everything's dried. I don't have enough time to wait for everything to dry. So I'm going to do that. So in the end, that is your birdhouse and bird feeder. Enjoy.